Over the years, 2K has had a lot of different build systems, a lot of different builds in 2K that made each game unique. In this video, we're going to give you the top 10 best builds in NBA 2K history. According to my opinion in the comments, I want y'all to put y'all top 10 and let's compare it. Number 10. Now, starting off, I'm going to put the NBA 2K22 play shots. Now, you wonder like, wow, number 10 all time over the 21 play shots? Yes, the reason is you have blinders, you have mismatch expert. Those two badges make it automatically, in my opinion, better than the 21 play shot. Mainly because the shooting is easier on 22 than 21. So they hit way more whites. Then you add on play shots, they got the real player percentage. You can go back to the one they had the Zen there, but that was a literal cheat. That was a literal hack. The, the real player is an actual feature that they can't get rid of in the game. And the badges and the way the game plays, in my opinion, makes the 22 play shot one of the best play shot versions of 2K history. A lot of y'all may not agree, that's fine. We are gonna go ahead and go to number nine. Number nine is the 2K21 Next Gen Demigod. Now y'all know what that is. It's the six seven power forward of last year. That build was pretty overpowered. If you really think about it, that thing can shoot, Contact dunk off wheel, curry slide, finish, had good playmaking. Bro, you could literally do everything with that build. And if they were so overpowered that versions of their selves couldn't even stop themselves. You can't have a demigod, you can't stop their demigod. You know what I'm saying? When the game is 20 to 20, whoever had the ball, you knew you probably gonna lose. Because even if you played Amazing D, they either gonna hit a bull bull shot or they gonna rim run and dunk on the center. I, we all knew this was gonna happen. That next gen 2K21 demigod, the 6'7 power forward, is still a top 10 build of all time if you're gonna ask me. All right, that's if you ask me. All right, let's go. Number eight is the 2K18 stretch big. Mmm. The 2K18 stretch big. Now, those were 7 3 stretches that were able to shoot over people. They, bro, you could literally green smothers with those bills. You were literally greening smother shots with the 2K18 stretches. Those builds were unstoppable in that game. And I had a pure sharp, and then I used to run with stretches, and they, they hit everything. And I'm like, what the hell is this? So we gotta roll with them at number eight, man. We gotta roll with them at number eight. Number seven, I'm gonna put the 610 point forward in 2K17. Now the 610 point forward was very deadly in 17. Used to hate going against, used to hate seeing them. When you see a lineup full of them, you already knew what time it was. They finna do the little dribble moves until they get their grand badge, and then it's ankle breaking time. Then you got some that will hit the park card cheese on you. They will legit be 610 demi guys hitting the park cheese on you, and then. Even worse, when the Mountain Dew winners will win Mountain Dew, they get that plus five ball control so they can speed boost and do all the cheese dribble moves unlimited. But you have to buy boost to make this build good, so this is why I don't put it higher. You required boost. You had to buy boost to make them really torque, I believe. It was like plus five attribute boost that they used to do before they did the skill boost thing. So I got them at number seven. Number six, the 610 pure lockdown of 2k19 now this was my favorite build of 2k history this build was literally one of the most overpowered things in 2k19 and one of the most overpowered defensive builds of all time this is the best defensive build of all time in 2k history this build alone shut down everything you can shut down the stretches if you played it right you can even slow down them post scores because y'all know them pole scores are pretty deadly too. I ain't gonna lie. I literally made that build specifically for the stretches because the stretches were going a little too ham in 19. I made that build specifically to slow down the stretches and it worked for the most part too well. Soon as they start throwing jump shot 24 and everything, you know what I'm saying? I had it all. People see me do it, they threw it up, it's over with. That's when the whole game changed. Now you've seen lockdowns all over the place. Yeah, it was a toxic mess. So this build literally had the ability to do a lot of things. Drive, dunk, defense. If you knew how to do the little dribble, you can do a little bit of dribbling with it too. Yeah, bro. And you run this with a post score. Yeah, bro. The 6'10 lock is pretty deadly, bro. So we're gonna go to number five. 
the counter of this was the stretch big of 19. Now the stretch big of 19, I put above it because if you didn't have a lockdown, you were getting shot over every other play. Them things used to shoot over everybody. You know a lot of popular YouTubers had that, man. You had Joe Knows had it, Duke Dennis, Grinding DF, and a lot of other people which inspired a large community of these toxic stretch bigs doing the L2 cheese with glass cleaners in post score. Don't, I remember y'all, all right? You used to get the L2 cheese run around and shoot and then when you get sharp takeover in that game, you ain't even have to green no more. You would get animations for shooting whites. This is why the stretch has to be on this list, man. It has to be a top five. It had to be a top five or it ain't even a valid list. That's if you're asking me. Now, number four, we're going with the six, seven outside point guard of 2K16. Now, some people may think this is higher. And you could debate this is top three. Now, I won't get mad if you put it top three. I really won't get mad if you put it top three. The reason I got it here is there's a few bills that has to go over it, in my opinion. But the 6.7 PG, you can do everything. The reason I don't put it higher because it was so limited with the bills. Like, you, I mean, you, you basically had to be it. What was the other option? A 6.2? Outside a 6.3? Outside a 6.6 balance? A 6.4 inside? I mean, what are you going to do? That was the meta. So it was the only thing you can pick. So it had a limited pool. So basically everybody was the same thing. You can run them twos, threes, deadly. Those things were very deadly. They were unstoppable and scary. Most people couldn't do nothing with them. I right? let's be real. Most people can do nothing with them. When you see them pulling up in they sunset clothes, man, you know what time it was, bro. Those things were toxic. Now for number three, we got another 2K19 build, man. Y'all like 2K19 again? Y'all know what this one is. It was the best build in 19. The post score. The post score in 19 is, oh my God. There was nothing, nothing could stop that build. Nothing. Nothing could stop a post score in 19. In 19, you like you can get a lock and try. It didn't work most of the time. It could work if you knew what you was doing. It couldn't work. It, it was so overpowered. I've never seen anything like it almost. I've almost never seen anything like it. Why like number three? The 19 post score, you had different variants of them too. This is the sick part. You had the pure post scores. Ugh. You had the slashing post score. That might have been the worst. And the shot crate ones, the ones that could shoot. All of them were toxic. Now, I think the worst one was a 94 and up pure post that had that take over the whole game. You're not winning. Like, you're not winning. They had That was the biggest unfair competitive advantage build I've ever seen. When they get takeover, they throw people out the way. They literally will throw you out the way. No other build has ever done that in history. Now, stretches, they will hit their shots, but they're not throwing you out the way and doing all that bull bull. That is why that build is up here in the top three. I is in the top three. Now, number two, man. Number two, I I hate the more. Man, I, used, I have a love-hate relationship for this build, man. The NBA 2K20 two-way slash and play. Man, this could be number one, but I have to put one thing over it. But this build right here was nasty. The hop step of hell. The hop step of hell was deadly, bro. You cannot stop. You can literally... That was the lowest skill build I've ever seen. Anybody could get on that build and look decent if they knew how to hop step. If you knew how to hop step, you you can do what you got to do. You can get wins. Like, you can literally get wins. You ain't even got to be good. You can get wins. It was kind of like that on a lot of these builds on this list. But I've never seen it in bulk mass where people who had never been guards in their life suddenly become good guards because they had a two-way slashing playmaker. The two-way slashing playmaker is one of the most broken builds I've ever seen. They can hit the three, the hop step of hell, contact dunks, and they could clamp, bruh. They literally was doing it all. They could do everything, and it was completely unfair. Completely unfair. So this is why the 2K20 two-way slashing play is number two. Number one, the only thing I will put over that is the NBA 2K15 Demigod. Now the NBA 2K15 Demigod was a literal Demigod glitch. One of the few of all time that you will never repeat. They ain't never letting that happen again to the point where you had 
seven foot demigods doing their thing. Now, once again, the build pool was limited back then, but it doesn't matter because that thing, I don't think anything will ever come close to that. Hopefully nothing. You're never going to have a seven foot dribbling like that, shooting at Will and Duncan. I hope not. And I ain't even played 2K15 Park, bruh. And I know about it. I've seen clips. I've seen videos like you're watching it right now. I didn't play this. I never played Park in 15. So I never got to witness this. I seen it through stream. I used to watch Cash Nasty. I used to see his streams. Yeah, I used to see him playing this stuff, bruh. Yeah, no. No, that's why I stayed my ass on my team. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's why I stayed on my team. But hopefully y'all enjoyed the video, man. If y'all got any other builds that y'all felt should have been on this list, put it down in the comment section, man. Till next video, I'll see y'all there.